kuna watu ambao atuelewi ya kwamba ni wafanya biashara ndogo ndogo na wafaswi kuwa wafanya biashara ndogo ndogo kwa sababu hawana namna and this bottom up economic model ndiye itawasaidia i want to give an example kijana amesomeshwa university ame graduate na bachelor ya medicine that young man not unless ya ende apewe kazi hospitali na mtu aandikwe mshahara ya 10000 aise jisaidia maisha ni mwake bwana asifiwe so if this young man through the bottom up uh, economic model we could get a way of uh, funding this young man to use his skills and start a new business start a new hospital start a new dispensary and employ other people that young man within 10 years he'll be in a position to pay back the loan he got from the government and also create his own job and also create employment for other people so even the educated even the middle class will benefit from the bottom up economic model actually the middle class will benefit more than the mamambogas and the mukokoteni people guys are saying look at somebody like uh, a dentist a dentist who has just graduated from the university what do you tell him to do if he doesn't get a job from an hospital the guy will just be loitering in the streets but if the guy graduated from from the university and had a way of being assisted by the government walk to a place where he can get be helped to get a room the necessary equipment to start a dental clinic because we have so many people with dental issues the guy within five years he'll be in a position to pay back whatever support whatever grant he had been given he will have created his own business and he'll have employed more people apart from being employed the guy will have created employment instead of being employed so to me the middle class the educated people will benefit more from the bottom up economic model more than even the mabamboga we are talking of today kwa sababu hawataki kuona yule mtu ambaye anaelewa na shida za wakenya yule mtu ambaye baba yake hajakuwa kitu yule mtu ambaye alikuwa dhamiriwe na kutazamiwa kuongoza taifa letu ameingia barabara ya kuongoza ndio unaona wote wanapika kelele wanaume nane wanakusanyika kupika mwanaume mmoja na si tunajua Mungu anasema watakukuia na njia moja lakini wakiondoka itakuwa saba naibu wa rais ameweka rekodi katika taifa letu mimi nakwambia we umetumwa na Mungu na umesaidia hata watu wengine kuokoka. Maisha yangu sijaona Raila mbele ya madhambao akipika magoti ya ombewe. Ni safari hii baada ya wewe kumsukuma na Ukristo mpaka anauliza huyu Ruto hii nguvu anatoa wapi? Anaambiwa na watu wake kanisani wacha niende nikaombewe. Lakini kuna mikakati ambao amesahau. Lakini kama Mungu amekutumia tinga akaokoka hewala wacha iendelee. Walikuwa wanaona ukisema uchumi kuanzia chini kwenda juu uchumi ambao ni wa mahasla wanasema hakuna hasla inaweza kuendesha inji hii leo Raila anaongea mambo ya hasla Kalonzo anaombea mambo, anaongea mambo ya hasla Mundavadi anaongea kifika mbele anasema hasla lakini uchumi yote ni kitu kimoja sasa wamefuata barabara yako they are fighting the bottom up economic model because the big four agenda was premised or was anchored on the bottom up economic model if you look at food security and agro processing it is premised on the bottom up economic model manufacturing right from cottage industries the housing agenda was all premised on the big four agenda to transform kenya create jobs and create wealth for the ordinary kenyans the reason they fight the bottom up agenda the only reason your excellency why they deliberately sabotage the big four agenda was because it was going to empower the masses and the hustler nation na hawataki siku wewe ukiwa mwananchi wa kawaida utakuwa empowered sababu wanataka wakubebe kwa chombo 
ambacho ni chama cha kikabila ili wao peke yao wao ndio wanaweza kaa kwa meza kuongea mambo ya nchi na venye wataendelea kupata mali na wewe uendelee kuwa mtumwa